Hi friends, in this video we will see what are the commonly used string functions in the SQL server. So what is string functions? These string functions are used to perform different operations on string data type. Let's see some of the real time scenarios. So in my front end application I have first name and last name that will load into my source layer but in my staging layer I want to showcase as full name so if in case in my front end application i am getting full name but in my reporting tables i want to split it into first name and last name so i am having multiple front end applications where in my source table i am getting multiple domains but in staging i need to load it with a unique domain so i am getting some dirty data from the front end application into my source tables and I want to clean it in my staging table. So here I'm getting, I want to showcase in report, uh, like Trinath is working in department number where Trinath is a string and department is an integer. So as I'm getting multiple domains from the front end applications, I want to notice the unique uh, domains of the applications. And if I want to replace any special character with some other string, how can I do that? So here the picture comes the usage of string functions. So in this video, we will cover the theory part and in our next video, I will really explain you the code, uh, how to achieve those outputs. So before going to the learning part here, I want to share one of the useful thing. So how to play while learning and avoid breaking your head for understanding the code. Many of the people in general coming from non-IT background and initially they get frustrated of understanding the SQL. But here I will uh, tell you a trick. Uh, how can you enjoy it while learning? So nothing, nothing. There will be just three steps. Before you going to learn something, just think of these three. What is the use of that or why do I need to learn that and what is the syntax of that and the third step really how can you use it in real time. So just go with the three topics and doesn't matter what it is you will start enjoying while learning. So here the first function is the length function. So it will have so length function in general it will returns the number of characters and Coming to the syntax part, it will has only one argument that is either string or a of column name. Say in my employee table, I have employee name. So if I want to check the length of the employee name, so I need to apply length function and it will return the length of the character. Even I can use it in where condition to filter my data as well. And going to the next is lower function. So it will convert the character to lower case. So it is also having one argument that is a string. So here if you see the Trinath is in upper case and if I want to convert into lower uh, using lower function, the result will be converted into lower. And next one is upper and it is a vice versa of lower. If you want to convert the string into upper case, then you can go with upper function. And if you see here, Ram is in lower case letters and by using upper, I will just convert into upper case. So next is the important one, substring. So the definition of substring is it extracts required string from a given string based on start position and number of characters so simply to say you have something uh, string and if you want a part of that the definition itself sounds substring substring is nothing but a part of the string is called as a substring so in general it will have three arguments the first argument is string so from which string you need the sub one so the main will you will place here and the start position is from where you need the substring from which position you need the substring that is the start position and from that position how many characters you need that is the third argument 
so that, that that's it you you know now what is the substring substring is nothing but a part of the string is known as substring and what are the syntax it will contain three arguments the first one is a string argument and the second argument is from where you need the substring and the third argument is up to when you need the substring so if i have computer this is my string and i just want put from the string so here the first one i passed the string and the second one i want put so the put will will be started from one two three third and fourth position so up to when i need uh, three characters i need from the fourth position so let me execute and see what is the result so that's it it's very simple if you can learn like this so l trim what is the purpose of l trim so in general it will remove the blank spaces to the left side of the string maybe from front end applications i will have some dirty data say for example space 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 trinath and if i use the left trim so the all the space to the left side of this will be trimmed using this function similarly right trim it will remove the spaces from the right if you see here i have a lot of blank space and if i use the r trim function it will just remove the space right to this and next one is a replicate function so replicate the name itself sound it just replicate the string for n number of times that you specified as a second argument so replicate will have two arguments the first one is string which you want to replicate and the second one is how many times you want to replicate say for example i have commission and i want to replicate it for two times so it is just replicated so next one is reverse the name itself sounds like reverse in the sense from right to left in general it will be like left to right but by using reverse it will be left to right to left say i have commission and if i applied reverse function to this you see it will display as left to right and my next function is a replace function so itself sounds like if you want to uh, replace a part of the one in the string with another one then you will go with replace so in replace you will have three arguments first argument is the given string and the second one is what you want to replace in that string and the third one is by which you want to replace that for example i have a computer in that i want to replace ut with ir so just pass that string in the first argument and such string in the third argument and that replace string in the third argument if i execute this see that ut is get replaced with ir and it finally it became compiler so next one is the stuff function it is very important and if you really understand the application of this will avoid multiple string functions so stuff function simply to say it is nothing but the combination of substring and replace function so in general stuff function will have four arguments the first one is uh, the string and the second one is start position and the third argument is number of characters so this is nothing but a substring and here in the fourth argument you are passing the string which you want to replace so substring will act as a combination of substring and replace so if for example in this computer i want to uh, replace this pu with il so if i want to replace this then i need to get this sub string so here what i will do is first in the argument i will pass the given string so from which position i want to replace from sorry from fifth position i want to replace it and how many characters i want to replace it so two characters so finally if i execute this i will get compiler so you can achieve this using by substring 
uh, and replace and some other functions but if you know the application of stuff simply you can avoid just all and next one is care index so care index itself sounds like it will give the position of the character in that string so it will contain three arguments first one is such string and second one is given string and the third one is optional which will force the care index to search the start position so here i have given the two examples with two arguments and three arguments let me execute with two arguments first and if you see here the position of var is displayed as one since it is in the first position of this word it displayed one but if i want to get the position of second then i can force the function to start the search from that so if i execute this two so here you see as the i didn't pass the number by default it will consider to start the search position from starting it returns immediate position of that but if i give the third argument then the care index will get started from seventh position and it will shows the index of the second occurrence and finally yeah in our next video we will see what are the how we can apply this to real